Hey friends, welcome back to Krusty Cranks TV where we do lure painting and bait making. Um, okay, today on the menu we got CC036 and it's the Jerk Smalley. That's what we're going to be recreating today. Alright, pretty simple. Um, okay, colors we're using, obviously titanium white. We've already got that based on there. We got our Wicked Pearl on there, and we're going to go to, next color will be um, Wicked Gold. We're going with Wicked Gold, we're going with Burnt Umber, we're going with Detail Sepia, and we're going with Red for the Gills. So, alright, and I'll always, as always, I'll run down the colors one more time at the end of the video. So, if you want to get lost or whatever, and want to go back you can go to the end of the video um and it'll have a summary of everything that we did all right so just gonna put a little bit of gold on here just to make that burnt umber umber pop all right so, turn the pressure down so you don't get crazy okay and it's gonna go down it's going to go down the sides almost all the way, it will actually go all the way to the belly. It's like the pearl white it's hard to tell until you get layers on there but we're not worried about it too much because most of it's going to be burnt umber anyway but we're just laying that gold base underneath of it down to the belly the belly will be white just gives a nice blend with that burnt umber Staying in the camera, I apologize for not having adjusted that a little bit. I'm kind of leaning in on the table. This is another color. We don't really have to dry it. We can go right to the other, the burnt umber, because it's not going to hurt the gold in there too much with the gold being in there actually. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Hope you're learning something if you're new. There's a lot of guys on YouTube doing lure painting, so I suggest check them all out. Every one of them's got some good tips and uh, it's a good community bait painters and bait makers all right I think that's where we're gonna stay with the gold get this tail just a little more sorry sometimes I forget I got a camera stay in the camera so used to painting without the camera being there Okay, we'll clean this gold out and I'll bring you right back. Okay, got my burnt umber in my brush. 
So we're gonna hit this baby real, real good on the back, over top of that gold. And we're gonna get really dark on the top of the back. And we're just gonna let it blend on in with that gold down the sides. You can see how nice it blends with that gold on the sides. Creates a nice vignette pattern down the sides, nice blend. And get it really dark on the top. I'm gonna hit that with the hair dryer one time. And then so I can go over it a little bit more without it running. Okay. Darken it up on the face a little bit. And we'll come down that back one more time real good. Okay, I'm gonna give that a dry. Okay, clean out my brush. And we're going with the, the detail sepia. Okay, next we're going to take this little comb right here. We're going to lay that guy on there. I'm going to come right behind my gill. I'm just going to hit a little stripe down there. Let me turn my pressure down just a little bit. So I was flushing it out. Okay, let's just put some light little bars. Just like so. Alright, flip it over. Let me hit it real quick just to make sure we're dry. Flip my comb over.
go. All right, now we want to dirty this up a little bit because we got it's just too too much red in it, the brown. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that sepia. I'm just going to kind of blend that sepia in to the bars. And it helps take some of that red out of it. Hit the face real good. And kind of let that umber blend into the gold and then into the and then the sepia blends into the into the umber. Alright. Just get a little darker on the back side right here. All right, last thing we're going to do is we're going to put the red gill lines on there. And we're going to put the It's really hard to tell until we get the epoxy on it, but it'll really make it brighten up. All right, let's get the little gill lines on here. And get my brush cleaned out, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, got my little gill stencil in place here. Got my red loaded up. Turn it down a little bit. Doesn't take much. Okay, got my stencil in place for the second side. Yeah. That's all there is to it. All right, drop my fingers here. Okay, give it a little heat, and we'll put some eyes on it. Okay, on this one we're using the uh, little iridescent eyes. Iridescent yellow. And we're going to point them forward. Forward with a little look down. Okay, turn it over to the other side. And we'll be ready to epoxy this dude. Sometimes you gotta look really close at your eyes. That pupil might just be a little bit one way or the other. And you definitely don't want a cross-eyed bait. So... Try to pay attention to it, see. When you look at them front on, that should help you. Make sure that you got them pretty much facing the same way and going the same way. Pretty much located in the same spots. Alright. That's the finished guy.
right there we're gonna get some epoxy on him and we'll bring you back show you the finished lure okay guys we're back with the epoxy all done nice and shiny looking good looking good all right um so colors i used on this lure today was titanium white and then the next coat was a coat of wicked gold wicked colors it's kind of a pearl gold and then uh the next color was uh detail burnt umber okay and that was just on the top and the back and then for the stripes and the deepen that black up or uh, brown up a little bit, that burnt umber, we used detail sepia. All right. And then we used transparent red, bright red, transparent bright red for the gill marks. All right. So um, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I appreciate all the subscribers. I appreciate the likes. And I appreciate it if you guys ring that notification bell so you get notified when we put a new video up. It just helps me um, in the algorithms. If you get uh, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, it gets me out there so more people can see my videos and I can share my videos with people who might want to learn how to paint baits. And uh, so I appreciate everybody. I appreciate the support for sure. Um, with that being said, Stay crusty, my friends, and we'll see you on the next one.